Hello, this is Evangelist Dr. Robert L. McKim Sr. from Carrollton, Ohio. First off, I want to say this to those who are listening, especially you trolls and hackers and impersonators. People like to pretend to be somebody that you're not. To get somebody else to believe your lies. I've been receiving many emails. Emails that look like they come from the real deal when they're not the real deal. You know, I received an email from my fuel oil company. That looked like it came from my fuel oil company. It didn't tell me to call a certain phone number and give them, you know, personal information. It said to call my fuel company. I called them and they said they never sent me no email like that. They're not too happy that I did get an email. As a matter of fact, to let you people know, my credit is my credit is in good standing. So if you want to keep on sending out these fake emails like they're coming from me to somebody else or to me, from one of my email accounts to one of my other email accounts saying that I'm broke and I, uh, I don't have credit anymore and all this and all that you know what you're full of yourself you're full of yourself you might think it might be a good laugh but it's not a good laugh I'm not laughing Now, I'm believing some that a lot of you trolls work for these, you know, internet companies. These big internet companies like Facebook, Twitter, Google, YouTube. I believe a lot of you trolls that hate me work for these companies. Cause I never, I, I've never, for all the years I've had Facebook, I've never been blocked from Facebook. Never been blocked until just here, just this morning. All I'm just doing is going through the posts that from the news stations, various news stations, and some other things that I have. Um, signed up to receive and I'm friends with I'm just going through clicking liking clicking you know liking or doing my thing liking and sharing certain posts and then I get this pop-up on my computer on, on, on Facebook That says that I've been temporarily blocked because what? I was going too fast. I was going too fast on Facebook, so Facebook blocked me. Sounds like uh, something that one of you internet trolls would and hackers would do to me because of the so-called speeding video that you made so what I was speeding on Facebook just doing the same thing I've always did for all these years that I've had Facebook going through my notifications going through the news stories 
liking and sharing the ones that I want to share. Try to get back into my Facebook and then they said I was blocked for they detected suspicious activity. That's because somebody is have been tra is trying to hack my Facebook account. I know what it is, and it's probably one of you idiots that work for Facebook. Now you know there's a certain person that uh, doesn't like me. That likes to make a lot of videos. And he is on the, uh, or she, or whatever they are, are on the assumption that I am trying to shut them down. And my attorneys, my attorneys, I don't even know your physical address. All I know is what town you live in. That's it. I don't know your street address or your apartment number or letter. So no, my attorneys cannot send you a letter because that's what they would do. They would send you a letter in the mail. They will not email you. So if you've got an email or anything like that, it's fake. You're being played like they're trying to play me. You know, there's been what's called swatting here lately. Where uh, people call in false reports to the police department. And have the, you know, sheriff and even maybe the SWAT show up somewhere. Unannounced. But you know what? That is taking time out of something else serious might happen. You think it's funny. It's not funny. Stop it. Stop what you're doing to me. Stop doing what you're doing to these other people. Stop it. Stop your swatting. My Bible tells me exactly what you're doing. It's supposed to happen in the end times. In Timothy 3, it states right here, Perilous times and perilous men. But I don't call you men, I call you children the way you act. But know this, that in the last days, perilous times will come, for men will be lovers of themselves, Lovers of money, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, unloving, unforgiving. Turn the page here. Slanders without self-control. You have no self-control of what you are doing. Brutal despisers of good. You despise everything that uh, ministries like mine is doing. Traitors. Headstrong. Hardy. Lovers of pleasure rather than lovers of God. You love your pleasure. You want pleasure on the internet than God. Having a form of godliness but denying his power. From such people turn away, for this short are those who creep into households and make captive, captive garbled women Loaded down with this with a uh, sin, 
led away by various lusts, always learning and never able to come to the knowledge of the truth. 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 Not as uh, Jan Janners and Jambers resisted Moses. So these also resist the truth. You people that are doing all this, you resist the truth. Men of corrupt minds. You have corrupt minds. Disapproved concerning the faith, but they will progress no further, for their folly will be manifest to all as theirs also was. And then down here. But evil men and impostors will grow worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. <sighs> impostors. Hackers. Swatting. You might think it's funny for a little while, but when you are finally caught, either by God Almighty or the authorities, you won't think it's funny any longer. So just a word of advice, back off. God bless you. Have a blessed day.